Good morning guys. It's been a busy day so far and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. I'm off to work and Sarah and Caden are still super sick today. I've already been thrown up on five times now. So it's going to be a good day. <laughs> struggling with the flu. Um, Kaden is feeling a little happier today, but still having a rough time. So I think Kaden is feeling a million times better today. You hear it's your fingers. Oh, oh, ah. Yeah, yesterday I was thinking he was sick like me because he just kept, um, he, he kept crying. The only time he wasn't really crying yesterday was while he was taking naps. So I was thinking he wasn't feeling very good. But today he's just been happy. Oh, do we want to go? Yeah, he's been in a happy, happy mood today. This is his new favorite game is we put the pacifier in his mouth and he grabs onto it and pulls it right out. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, you are so sweet. Yeah, so I'm thinking he feels a lot better. He hasn't thrown up nearly as much as yesterday, but I mean yesterday he didn't get a fever. He stayed hydrated. I, I checked, um, but you got the pacifier out. So we didn't need to take him to the doctor or anything. I just think he was feeling under the weather. Poor little Caden. It's been thundering and lightning outside and then it started hailing. And so we opened the door to watch the hail and he just got so scared of it. He keeps putting his little lip out. Oh, it's okay. His little tears in his eyes, it's poor okay. little guy. I love thunderstorms and I love watching the lightning go across the sky and Sarah absolutely hates it. Oh, I don't mind seeing the lightning across the sky. It's the sound I don't like. The loud banging sound just bleh. I like them. But that's also because I grew up in California and so I knew there wasn't really any danger to it. Well, we had we had storms like that in Tennessee that were massive. They'd shake your house, and they'd just stretch out across the sky. But when it starts shaking your house, that's when I feel like you start getting a little nervous. So watching it hail it reminded me and Nathan of a story that happened like three years ago, four years ago. I think it's three years ago. Two years ago. More than that, because we've been married over two years. We weren't married yet. Anyway, so we were just dating and it was in July, the week before finals, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And it starts raining like crazy and it's tons and tons and tons of rain. And then it starts hailing, massive hail. And once it hits the ground, it kind of turned into what looked like snow, but it was only in certain spots on the ground that it was appearing, it's yeah. super weird. And it almost looked like there was water geysering out of the drains and that was turning to snow. And it was crazy because the temperature that day was probably 70 yeah. until it started oh. raining, then it dropped like down to 30 or 20 or something ridiculously cold. Yeah, so we stuck it out in the rain and hung out in my apartment. We ordered a pizza. We did, except we went to pick it up after it had stopped raining only to discover that since we were on top of the hill we didn't really notice anything until we got to oh it was once we pulled out of the parking lot we started noticing all the debris 
That's true. Then by the time we made it to the bottom of the hill, all the roads have been flooded. Like a lot, <laughs> like up past my knees flooding. And so we had to park down the street to the pizza place and take our shoes off and walk across the the pools of water across the street. Which probably had sewage and nastiness in them. Yeah, but the pizza was really good. Yeah, so. and at least we weren't affected. I know a lot of people who ended up losing everything they had because they were in apartments that um, went below the street level, if you guys know what I mean. They were like basement apartments. But they weren't in the base. not all basement apartments. They are just lower down. They had yeah. stairs that went down into them. And all of them flooded and they lost all our, their belongings. Even the apartment complex that I lived in, they are kind of horseshoe shaped. And so the water is getting trapped in the horseshoe and flooding the bottom, the bottom level apartments. But both me and Nathan lived on the highest apartment level that each of our complexes had so we got really lucky yeah. but it was super crazy and they didn't cancel any finals at all so me and Nathan were just sitting here talking about some of our sick stories like vomit sick not not like sick bra some of our sick stories and I kind of remembered this funny one from when I was in middle school I um had gone to the bathroom and had thrown up while at school and so I went to the nurse's office and said I'm sick I need to go home and you could tell that they really didn't believe me they were like whatever you just want to go home but we'll call your mom so they called her and she didn't answer and they called her again and she didn't answer and so anyway I'm telling them oh, I really really feel sick I feel so so sick right now my stomach hurts so bad and I I'm like I was like clammy and all gross and they're like okay yeah whatever we're trying to con contact your mom no big deal I'm just laying there like oh my gosh I'm gonna die so anyway I have like a nurse the nurse and one of the office ladies is standing in the room like oh well we can't t get in contact with your mom so once you feel better you can go back to class and I lean over the the little bed and I vomit like not just a little bit but like a, the entire content of my stomach into the trash can which it was in the trash can I didn't get it anywhere else but you would have thought that I had just contracted the plague they freaked out they like had me go and sit in a chair in the office so that they could have the janitor come and wipe down the entire nurse's office which was silly so the reason they couldn't get a hold of my mom was because my little brother's super smart and he was in a spelling bee. And I guess at the spelling bee they have you turn off your phones or something like that. So my mom didn't even have her phone on. And they ended up, after I threw up, they ended up contacting the people in charge of the spelling bee and like announcing it over the intercom for my mom to go and call the school back and come pick me up. Hello guys, I'm sorry that this may have been super lame. I've been pretty sick today, so I really haven't had the, the energy to do anything but take care of Kaden. So, we're hoping tomorrow she's feeling better, but we'll see. We hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, like it. And subscribe, and see we'll you see tomorrow. you tomorrow.